Richard Peck is famous for his stories about larger-than-life humans living in the heartland. But now that I've read his newest book, I imagine that he may become famous for something else. Mice. The Cranstons have a problem. And when I say the Cranstons, I mean the upstairs Cranstons and the downstairs Cranstons. The upstairs Cranstons, the human Cranstons, have a problem in that they can't find a suitable match for their awkward oldest daughter. The downstairs Cranstons, the Cranstons of the rodent variety, have a problem in that the upstairs Cranstons will be sailing off to Europe to solve their problem, which leaves the Cranston mice with an even bigger dilemma. Follow their humans across the sea and possibly drown, or stay behind and possibly starve. Given the title of this book, I'm sure you can guess which path they choose, and soon these brave mice are off on a high seas adventure, complete with a pitching ship, a fearsome ship's cat, and mouse royalty like you wouldn't believe. I must admit that I was already a huge Richard Peck fan before I read this book, and Secrets at Sea does not disappoint. As usual, Peck effortlessly spins a story of heroism, romance, and a certain protagonist mouse coming into her own. Move over, Cinderella. These are the most memorable mice I've encountered in a while.